Unlocking the meaning of stuffed with straw, a deep dive. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're unraveling the mystery behind a unique phrase, stuffed with straw. This expression paints a vivid picture, but what does it actually mean? Stay tuned as we explore its origins, meanings, and how to use it in everyday conversation. First off, let's break down the phrase, stuffed with straw. Literally, this refers to filling an object or space with straw, which is dried stalks of grain. Historically, straw has been used for padding, insulation, and creating scarecrows. This literal use is straightforward, but the phrase carries more weight when we delve into its figurative applications. In a metaphorical sense, stuffed with straw can describe something or someone that lacks substance or depth. It's akin to saying something is hollow or superficial. This expression is often used to critique ideas, arguments, or even characters that appear full and complex on the outside but are empty on the inside. Another interesting use is in the idiom, a man of straw, which refers to a person with no real power or influence, or an argument that's easily defeated. This idiom highlights the concept of appearing solid while being fundamentally weak or insubstantial. To truly grasp the phrase, let's see it in action. Critiquing an argument, his thesis on economic reform was stuffed with straw, lacking any robust data or meaningful analysis. Describing a character, the villain in the novel is a classic man of straw, his menacing exterior hiding a lack of true menace or complexity. These examples show how the phrase is used to convey a lack of depth or substance in both ideas and characters. Incorporating stuffed with straw into your language can add a layer of richness and depth to your conversations. Use it to critique art, literature, or even political arguments. However, be mindful of the context and the audience. It's a phrase best used in discussions where a deep analysis is welcomed and understood. We hope this exploration into stuffed with straw has enriched your understanding of English idiomatic expressions. Whether you're dissecting a novel or engaging in a spirited debate, remembering the dual nature of this phrase, both literal and figurative, can help you communicate more effectively. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language in our future videos.